Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your mid-May 2017 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising signs. So Pisces, this is a reading that is focusing on the last couple of weeks of May. And uh, if you're interested, please head on over to Vimeo because I will be actually uploading um, a reading for you guys focusing on love and relationships for the last couple of weeks of this month of May. I will have the link listed below in the description bar. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head on over to northeasttarot.com. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, I have the Six of Pentacles, and this is like the overall energy that you're dealing with for the next couple of weeks. The Six of Pentacles is all about being balanced. Um, it is giving and receiving. So for some of you, you might be quite charitable. You could be actually, um, for some of you, could be helping someone out. You could be give, giving someone something. Could be uh, a loan, but not necessarily. Um, so there could be some very generous um, Pisces over the next couple of weeks, or you could actually be receiving um, some sort of generosity. You could be receiving something, something of significance, something that is maybe going to help balance you out, uh, Pisces. Uh, now, right at the center, I do have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. So for a small number of Pisceans, definitely um, with the Nine of Pentacles here, you could be receiving some sort of loan. Maybe this is something that you've been waiting on um, with the Nine of Pentacles. In the challenge position, for some of you, maybe you've been waiting on a loan, um, waiting for your finances to improve. Um, but there is a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness here with the Ten of Cups. This is emotional abundance, happiness. Uh, for some Pisces, you know, this is you spending maybe more time with your family and your friends when I'm filming this. Uh, maybe just in a really, really good place emotionally. And I can see here that for some of you, you might have been dealing with some challenges. Uh, for those of you that aren't um, waiting on a loan or you know, you're not struggling financially, with the Nine of Pentacles here, uh, the crossing card is either a challenge or it's something that is, is helping you. It's an energy that's helping or hindering you. So for some Pisceans, you know, I see you in a good place with the Nine of Pentacles. You might be a business owner. Um, you're moving towards maybe this financial stability, this nice lifestyle. Now, at your foundation, we do have the Five of Wands. And because you have a couple of fives here, fives can be fives can be a challenging energy here. So for some of you, maybe you've been trying to move up within the company that you work for. You might have been dealing with some sort of competition. Maybe you've been searching for a new job for some of you with the five of wands. Uh, this can be competition around you. Uh, it also can be petty arguments. You butting heads with someone, not seeing eye to eye. With, with someone dealing with some sort of challenging situation or energies. For some of you, maybe it was something internal. Um, but in the, in the more recent past, I have the Five of Swords. So this can be conflicts, arguments, deception. For some of you feeling wounded, there could have been something very petty that maybe escalated to something a little bit more serious here. Um, dealing with a challenging person, a challenging situation, a challenging environment. For some of you, you know, I do feel like this is maybe within the workplace. It's been maybe a little bit challenging, but with this Six of Pentacles and then, you know, some other energies that you have coming up here, things are going to improve. Things are going to balance out for you. Sixes are a more harmonizing energy. So things are going to improve. This is all behind you. Uh, crowning you, we do have the Knight of Wands. So there could be a fire sign person. Maybe, you know, this had something to do with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Uh, potentially this person's younger because we have the Knight of Wands here crowning you. So this could be a younger fire sign person. And then for some other Pisceans, this is you maybe ready to move forward. This is you ready to charge forward, ready to leave this difficult situation behind. This is you, you know, looking to the future optimistically. Um, this is you very, very enthusiastic, maybe very passionate about something uh, because coming up here in the near future, we do have the energy of death. So definitely something could be ending for some of you. If this was challenges going on within the workplace, you could be ending a job. 
for some of you with death here, something could be ending within your life. It's creating that space for something new to come in. And if something is not ending, ending, something is transforming. So something's changing. This is a very powerful energy here. So this is what you're moving towards. And for some of you, I see you very happy about this. Now, death does represent the sign of Scorpio. So there could be a Scorpio Pisces connection. Uh, so there could be a Scorpio that's coming up here that's very, very significant. Um, because in the position of your power, I have the lover's card. So for some Pisces, you have a decision. You have a decision that you need to make, a choice that you need to make. Now, for some of you, maybe a relationship is going to be coming to an end. Maybe a relationship is ending and... You know, with death, there's always a new beginning. So there could certainly be some uh, Pisces that a relationship is ending and you're actually getting into a new relationship. Or maybe, you know, a relationship has ended and now you're meeting someone else with the lover's card. Uh, for me, this is, this is a very strong physical attraction. This also could be a soulmate relationship. Um, so maybe with a Scorpio, maybe with a Gemini, or there could be a fire sign person that's significant here. Uh, and now if... If you're a Pisces that hasn't ended a relationship, maybe you're getting involved with someone who has just ended a relationship. So um, this can always go both ways, Pisces. So maybe there are some Pisces that you're getting into a relationship and maybe this person is going through a divorce or something like that, or they just got out of a relationship. Um, because for some of you, there will be maybe three people that uh, are maybe involved in this situation. Now, in the position of how those around you are viewing you, we actually have the Ten of Swords. And for you, because you've had you know these challenges that you were dealing with previously, this is you definitely um, leaving that all behind. Uh, tens represent cycles that are completing, and you do have a couple of tens here in the spread along with death. So you do have some very powerful energies here. This is you actually ending a period, ending a cycle. For some of you, you've been dealing with some challenging people or energies or situations, but the worst is now behind you. You're moving forward. Now, yes, for some of you, you will have to make a decision. A choice is needed to maybe move forward and close the door on this difficult cycle within your life. Now, in your hopes and fears, I do have the Eight of Cups. So you're hoping for some of you, you're absolutely hoping to be able to move forward. You're hoping to meet, maybe be able to move on with your life. You're very focused on the future. Yes, maybe moving on from someone or something that you've invested a lot into emotionally, but you're ready. You're ready to move forward. And then the energy that you're actually leaving the month with, um, we do have the Page of Swords. So this is a neutral page. This could be very important news. This could be some sort of truth, some sort of clarity that's coming in. You finding something out. Um, what I'm going to do is, is use my Hanson Roberts deck. I'm actually going to pull three clarifiers on this page of swords. So this could be news coming in from an air sign person. And then for some other Pisces, I feel like this is just very important communication that's coming through for you here. So pulling three clarifying cards for this page of swords energy that Pisces is dealing with right at the end of May 2017. All right, there's one. That's the seven of swords, which is quite interesting. That combination together of the page of swords and the seven of swords is screaming uh, someone spying on someone. So just take caution with that. This could be someone watching someone. And what I'm really feeling is this would be like online. This would be through social media, Facebook, things like that. So just take caution with that. I mean, you could be watching someone Pisces. There's nothing wrong with that. But for some of you, this is going to work the other way. This could be someone watching you. All right, this one. Wow, we have the Page of Swords again. See what the last card is going to be for Pisces clarifying the page of swords yeah this is definitely someone watching you are you watching them wow okay and we have the knight of pentacles so we have the seven of swords the page of swords again and then we have the knight of pentacles 
So for some of you, it's an earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So for some of you, this is, this is definitely a message that's coming through. You could be hearing the truth from this person. You could be getting down to the, the truth of the matter with this person. Now, if not an earth sign person, this could be a water sign person, could be a fire sign person. But, you know, what I'm really feeling here is that, you know, some of you are maybe getting into a relationship or you're in a relationship with someone who is maybe getting a divorce here. So for some of you, I feel like you might be finding this out here at this time. The seven of swords can be like someone who's escaping. So I think that, you know, for some of you, you're maybe helping someone out. Maybe someone is in a difficult situation or you're in a difficult situation and there could be a person around you that's helping you. Now with this Knight of Pentacles, you're not rushing right into whatever this is. You're not moving forward very quickly. You're actually really, really paying attention to the details. You're actually being quite thorough here and you're making plans and you're moving forward quite cautiously. And I feel like that's something that's going to benefit you. Um, so if you're in a situation, maybe there's a relationship that's ending or something within your life is ending, uh, you could be moving forward very cautiously. I feel like some of you are escaping a difficult situation or environment. Um, and then for some other Pisces, this could be someone that you're involved with, someone that you're helping could be a crush i'm getting like a crush or you, you know the very early stages of maybe a relationship here um because this could be someone who you know has a thing for you someone who's been watching you or maybe you've been watching them with the lover's card here you know there this could be a very strong a, a physical attraction here as well so very very interesting news is definitely coming in you have the page of swords twice so expect communication here very interesting uh, reading, Pisces. Let me pull you an additional guidance card. Additional guidance for Pisces. Focusing on the last couple of weeks of May 2017, Pisces. Balance. All right, balance. Needing to focus on getting in balance. And we have that six of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, which is like the overall energy for the next couple of weeks. So needing to be more balanced, needing to get more in balance. Uh, for, some, for some of you, you might have a lot going on. So making sure that you know, you, you're devoting enough time um, to multiple different things. And for those of you that are making a decision here, needing to get more in balance, needing to get centered, um, you know, not making a hasty decision, which I don't really see you doing um, for some of you. Um, but overall, you know, you have some very positive energies here. For some of you financially, I see you in a really good place emotionally. You know, I see you in a good place. For some of you, family is quite sig significant here, um, right right at the, uh, around the 15th of, of May. But there are changes coming in. You have two tens here. Uh, you also have death. So change is definitely coming in. A lot of change. And with this change, you know, I feel like things are going to be more balanced. This is definitely something that's very positive. Okay, Pisces. So... If you're looking for uh, additional insight, head on over to um, Vimeo because I will only be focusing on matters of the heart, love and relationships. So if you want more clarity in regards to maybe this partnership that you're moving towards or a relationship, if you're a partner in Pisces, please head on over to Vimeo. So Pisces, I do wish you a great last couple of weeks of May. Take care.